morning everybody today what day is it i don't even know it is tuesday it's been a long time since i last vlogged and yes i'm aware i'm always eating a banana in my vlogs there is someone that keeps like being weird about the fact that i eat a banana in every vlog i love bananas let me live this morning i'm actually going to chop this one up and freeze it because i'm gonna make myself a smoothie bowl but i thought i would make it extra thick and creamy as per one of your suggestions in the comments of the video that I put up yesterday, which will have been my last video. I will link it up here. I found a great way for me to remember where the link goes. No way. It's an L to me. <laughs> the link is on the left. Yeah, I've got it. I'm happy. Anyway, it's been a while since I last vlogged. I'm excited to be back. I actually have had a couple of weeks off by now i mean i took a full week off and then i decided to come back to work kind of like as a working like a few hours a day because there was a project that came into my inbox that i just really wanted to work on and i was really excited so i've had a little break i'm feeling good today my anxiety has continued to run right throughout my whole time off that was unexpected i really thought it would chill it did not my life has not continued to be any less stressful even though I've stayed home and haven't been working. So it's clearly not work that's really stressing me out. But anyway, so my last video was my morning routine. I can't stay on track while speaking at the moment. This is actually, this is going to be horrendous to edit. I'm so sorry, Lauren. Thank you for all of the lovely comments on it. I really enjoy doing morning routines. And that morning routine is one that I am loving at the moment, especially during my downtime, my time off. I have so enjoyed getting out for walks. There's a bug on my wall. I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, it's a morning routine that I've been enjoying so much recently. Obviously not practical for every single day, but during my downtime, I so enjoyed that morning routine and just getting up for more walks, making smoothie bowls, that kind of thing. I'm kind of back in my normal routine now, but the smoothie bowls is definitely something that I am trying to continue. And yeah, someone commented on the morning routine video saying, oh, you should put your bananas in the freezer. Freeze them and the smoothie bowl will go really nice and creamy. So I think I've done that before a very long time ago, but I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so I'm gonna leave those in the freezer for about an hour ready for me to have my smoothie bowl and in the meantime i am going to i've got half done hair right now i started doing my hair and then remembered that there was something that you guys had asked me to show you in this week's vlog so we're gonna do my hair i'm gonna update you on life a little bit so yes if anyone's wondering i am just gonna film for most of the morning in my bra because i just can't be bothered to change it quite frankly it's very comfortable it does make me look very Booby though, so apologies if that's more of me than you needed to see. So I've had a lot of deliveries this week. I think as of last night, I have like six different boxes to go through with you. Mostly stuff that I've bought because I've been really, really bored. But this arrived yesterday and I'm so excited about this. This is everything that my 13 year old dreams are made of. For those of you that don't know, I generally don't show you my natural hair texture, but I have what you would probably describe as like beach waves yeah i'm gonna go with beach waves basically imagine hermione granger in the third harry potter film that is my actual natural hair texture except hers looks really nice and shiny <laughs> mine kind of goes between looking nice and shiny on the ends but having this real rough texture at the roots it just kind of makes it a little bit like annoying for like leaving completely natural so i do normally have to tend to it with some kind of product i love having straight hair so i've always been very much a straightener girl and when i was younger i used to take my straighteners to school if it was raining so that i could like tend to my hair on my lunch breaks, which I actually put on stories and some people were absolutely horrified. I feel like now as a kid, it's not that cool to care that much about your appearance. But anyway, I grew up in the nineties where everyone wanted to be like Baby Spice. So <laughs> let me live. There's some real rogue influences going on on girls in the nineties. But that's a whole different topic for another video. But some of you were like amazed to hear that I used to take my straightness to school. It was quite a common thing at my school. Some people took it to be that I was quite like spoiled because I had a pair of GHDs when I was that age. I would like to disclose the fact that nine members of my family clubbed together to buy me my first pair of GHDs, which I then kept until, I think they were in my early YouTube videos. I had those GHDs for, I wanna say seven years, eight years. I think they went when I was 20, well, maybe it was longer than eight years, because I think I was like 22 by the time they went. So yeah, I had them for a really long time and I would never have been able to buy them myself. And I was always very grateful to have them. I've always been a GHD girl. They were just everything I wanted. I remember the year I got them, I think it was birthday or Christmas and I was just like, they were the most special thing to me. Anyway, so I'm like a massive GHD girl. And the fact that they've brought out a cordless straightener, this is everything that my 13 year old dreams were made of, but everything that my adult dreams are also made of because I do find when I have to like pack my big straighteners in my bag for like when I'm going to London for events, especially in the winter when, 
you know, the weather's just not cooperating, it's really annoying. So this is like going to be a game changer for me. I've already tried it, I tried it yesterday, and it's no different to an actual pair of GHDs. Like I was expecting something different in the way that it handles because it's obviously thicker here to hold a charge. I was expecting something different, maybe for it to be a bit trickier. It was not. It heats up just as quick as an actual pair of GHDs, which I was shocked by. I was expecting it to be quite a lot longer. It's no different, except you can obviously charge it and then you take the little charging socket out. My one actually came with a bit of charge in it, so I haven't had to charge it fully yet. But if you guys want, I will do a full like written review on my blog if you want to kind of hear more about it. Sorry. Oh, there we go. It's heated up. Sorry for the major armpit shot, by the way, but it's warm today, so you're just... <laughs> getting a lot of suits. So I already did the underneath with my actual GHDs because I wasn't really thinking and I started doing my hair and then remembered you guys wanted to see this. I put a little poll up on my Instagram and you guys said that you were really interested to see this in action and hear my thoughts. I'm just doing this really casually like how good is that? I'm gonna get a brush and show you like without me kind of kind of manhandling it what it does in like one go. But first heat protector. I'm gonna do a little curl on this side as well so that you can kind of see how easily it curls like i ran a curl through the front of my hair and i was just like that was so easy how long is my hair going by the way this is all my own hair by the way which you can obviously tell because i'm half up half downing it yeah there's a lot of it right now i'm very happy it's grown so well some people thought it was extensions because obviously you guys just see my hair in a bun most of the time i'm gonna give it some like tlc in august have a little kind of like trim of the edges, maybe add some more like definition to it, maybe some really like discreet highlights just to lift the color slightly because I do find when I don't have makeup on, I look dead. I look like I am deceased. So this is what the kind of strand of hair is looking like. And this, this is the after. Really, really nice and easy. And then I'm just gonna show you how it curls. Beautiful. So it can do you straight or it can do you a really cute little wave. So this is a game changer for me because now that it's all my actual own hair, it doesn't hold a curl the way it did when I had extensions. Anyone that has had extensions will know the pain of going to back to your full like natural hair because it just doesn't hold a curl in the same way. So this is going to be an absolute game changer for me because I love wearing my hair wavy at the moment, especially like this length. And because it's quite a blocky cut, it looks really lovely with a wave through it. And loads of you guys have been really loving the waves that I've been putting through it, but they don't last as well because I don't like to use too much hairspray. I think it leads to more breakage on my hair. I don't know if that's actually the case, but I just feel like using too much hairspray and it then having to brush it out is a little bit more damaging than, you know, using a very light amount of hairspray. But it does mean that my curls don't last as long. So just to be able to kind of like top up a curl here and there, not redo a full head of curls whilst I'm out. But just during the day, if it's looking like something needs a little bit of a zhuzh, being able to do that, not worrying about being caught in the rain, I love. This is great. This is everything that I ever really wanted from GHD. I think I've been wishing for a cordless straightener for about nine years now. Yeah, I think you can actually use this whilst it's plugged in as well, which is great. So if you run out of battery, I think you can just use it plugged in. I will double check that. I have read the instructions. It takes two hours to charge and you shouldn't use it whilst it is charging. I am a bit sad you can't use it whilst it's charging. I would say that's literally my only thought on it because other than that, I think it's such a brilliant idea. It's something that so many people needed for so many various different reasons. I love the fact that it is smaller, so it's just much more handbag friendly. I'm really impressed with the way it actually handles and curls. It's just like an actual GHD straightener, which is so great. We'd be disappointed if it wasn't up to GHD straightener standards, but yeah, I am really impressed with it. It is definitely much more expensive than your standard GHDs, but I think with a product like this, it is to be expected. And to be honest, I really rate that even when at home, I can actually just curl my hair in any part of my house, wherever the good lighting is, which makes me so happy. So those are my thoughts. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. I'm going to finish up my hair now, get dressed, and then I've got something new to show you that has arrived. Like, I've got a lot of new things. I've got all the boxes, like I said, but I have something new that if you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't have seen, and I'm really excited to show you guys. My hair is done. I am dressed, ready for the day. You probably will have seen this outfit. Actually, I don't know if the morning routine will have been my last video, because there may have been a what I wore in a week. I will link it if it is, but... If not, then you'll have to wait to see the full details on this outfit. I've just gone for straight hair today and run some oil through the ends. Let me show you 
the one that I use. I'm trying not to get my really messy bedroom in the background. I use this oil from Kerastase. I just absolutely love this whole range. It's the Blonde Absolute. Yeah, now it's time for me to show you the state of my hallway. Look at what I have causing a real fire hazard right now. We need to go through this. But first, there's actually something that I wanted to show you before that. Ta-da! Okay, so you will have seen this. If you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen this already. It's probably old news to you, but this is my new footstool, ottoman, whatever you want to call it, for the wardrobe room. The wardrobe room has just had a little reorganized as well, so it is looking manageable. I'm going to say it's looking manageable. I did think on my week off I was kind of planning on maybe getting some more wardrobe storage for this wall. Not sure. What do you guys think? Let me know, because I'd love for that rail to basically be like closed away. So that is the Depop rail, and it also has just like a few other bits like my events dresses for like weddings that I've got on the end. By the way, I'll link my Depop if you guys want to go and check it out. There's still a few bits left on there. A couple of bits from the designer drop as well. So if you want to go and have a look at those before I take them off and sell them elsewhere, then definitely go and have a look. I've just reduced the prices of some things as well. So new footstool. Oh my God, it's so cute. I got it from Wayfair and it kind of looks from afar like it could be a linen, but it's not a linen. It's really soft, but not like a velvety soft and it's this lovely kind of very neutral earthy beige color this is the shade of it in comparison to my linen trousers so very very similar and that was the kind of vibe i wanted i think it's really timeless and when i have a proper wardrobe room like custom built which is my dream nothing crazy nothing huge but just like a room maybe you know this size or something like that i always planned on having something like this so i thought i would pick it up now and just have it to kind of add a little bit of glam to the room yeah it's just so gorgeous it's really big as well so if i sit on it this is kind of how <laughs> how big it is i know some of you are gonna freak because i've got my shoes on let me love so yeah i will leave the link for it basically it's always out of stock however i got my hands on it by just like refreshing the link literally once every single day that's how I get all my furniture basically and after about a day or so I think it came back in stock and I just snapped it up because it was the one like item I'd looked at that I couldn't get out of my mind I was looking at others that were like more expensive this was I think like 399 which is still so expensive but the others that I've been looking at were even more expensive so when this came back in stock I was like this is a no-brainer I will wait for it happy to wait you know now all I need to do is go through <laughs> these boxes here and get those all sorted and this room will kind of be as good as it can be also i can't remember if i showed you this but this is also new this is my new bag i love it this i think arrived on my week off so i don't know if i've actually vlogged it yet it's definitely been in the what i wore in a week so you guys probably will have seen it in some capacity if you watch like a lot of the videos but if you just watch the vlogs this is my new bag i love it i was like torn between this or the one that's like canvas here and it almost matches my big tote bag and i thought the matching could have looked really cute but i just went with my gut and went with this one and I'm really really happy with it and I love the clasp as well so this is how you pop it open and then this like pops out it's so cool so yeah really really loving it so far I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this over the summer I'm super excited about it so I ordered a few bits off Amazon I wanted some new books because quite frankly my anxiety has been running rife okay and another one so yeah all of the books that I was reading had like someone who's tragically died at the age of like 30 and I was just like no this is too close to home for me I'm gonna have to read something else whilst my anxiety is like this bad because this is the thing with anxiety like with like chronic anxiety where it's not just like you know your normal level because like everyone gets anxiety on some level everyone is worried about something you know that's you know that is what it is but this is what my brain does is it finds things that are so irrational to panic about i was reading an unwanted guest recently that's one of the books that i've most recently finished i've got a good reads account now by the way i'll link it if you guys want to go and check it out i loved that because it was so crazy far-fetched and borderline stupid but really entertaining at the same time but i couldn't feel anxious about it because i'm not in a mountain cabin in like the us so <laughs> it just is so far from my reality that i can't worry about it basically i picked up the hunting party by lucy foley foley in a remote hunting lodge deep in the scottish wilderness old friends gather for new year it just says a murder among friends great it's really thick 
interesting i've actually just finished one of her books i think it might have been the guest list which was also really crazy far-fetched and i absolutely loved it so i think this is going to be like a good one for me and then we have two by gillian flynn who wrote gong girl gong girl gong girl yeah we have sharp objects and dark places there's also another one that i wanted to read as well i'm gonna put the there's a lot of writing here so i'm gonna pop them on the screen hopefully you can see it and then i've been doing a lot more at home workouts recently so i picked up some of these these are like wrist weights actually way more heavy than i thought they'd be this is gonna be great i got two pairs so i can have some of my arms and some of my legs i'm excited about these and they're in the cutest colors and then i also stocked up on my syrups for my coffee i've run out of the cookie dough one i'm obsessed with the cookie dough and i also ran out of s'mores so i had to pick those two up i think those are my like all-time favorites so lots of you may have seen my instagram post where i showed my, i've cut my nails short now they have been long and outrageous for so long mostly because i can't be bothered to do them like once a month i'll sit and file them into a shape and then they just i let them grow and grow and grow and then i chop them all back down again but i've had a little bit more time lately and i've been really enjoying a really simple neutral french mani so i picked up some of the little mani stickers because they just make your life so much easier i really when i was younger i had a really Really steady hand so back when i was a kid i would have been able to do this french money freehand i was just so so good at it i'm not so good at it anymore but i picked up these little stickers i don't know if you're going to be able to see them but there's different shapes so there's one that's like a v one that's circular so i can do different designs just really really easily without really having to <laughs> think about it too much so i'm very excited to do myself a fresh French Manny that won't be as clumpy and not cute as my last one which actually looked way better on instagram than it actually did in real life i also got for doing, because I want to practice doing some stuff freehand, I got some little, these are actually just paint brushes, but they'll work really well because I've been using a makeup liner brush, but makeup eyeliner brushes aren't actually the best brushes. Lots of makeup artists use actual like paint brushes. So I thought that would probably be best for my nails and it said in the description, you can use them on your nails as well. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna use the bigger ones. Maybe I will, maybe I'll do that like wavy thing that other people have been doing. Can't decide whether this evening I want to make a crumble or whether I want to paint my nails. And then I also just got a little like mani kit because there were some things that I was missing. So yeah, this is, this is it. And then it comes in this cute little, almost like, I think it's a faux leather neutral case. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. Yeah, really cute actually. I really like that. It's actually more of a nude than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be more pinky. And another one. <laughs> <laughs> this one I, d I didn't buy this <laughs> i haven't been shopping that much yeah anyway so my other package <laughs> some jolene because they didn't do it in uh, my tesco's online shop i'm happy to be reunited with this because i just literally used up the last bit this week and i can't deal with the why do you have a mustache comments on my videos so that's why i do it there's actually someone said to me like isn't it like really controversial that you do that? And yeah, it probably is, but I'd rather do it and tell you guys that I do it so that girls that are young, like me, I liked knowing that other people had it, but that they just bleached it so that it felt more normal to me rather than just thinking that I was the only person that had dark facial hair. Cause I've always had it since I was like super, super, super young. I also have some name tags because my, my dear nanny is going into a home and she has some darker clothing that needed labeling and my mum couldn't label it in the same way that she was labeling the other lighter clothes so we've got some little iron-on labels but i'm also going to see if they like how they stay on test them see how they are putting a stitch into them see how the material feels that is my, <laughs> that's my job for the week so those are my amazon deliveries my really random stuff that i buy off of amazon i also have a few before we get into the bigger orders there's a couple of things that i have received in PR. To start off, we have some bits from Nadia Anya's Marvel Swimwear range, which I'm so excited about. I was not expecting these to arrive today, so really happy with this because I'm actually today and tomorrow I'm going to start packing for my little staycation, which is at the end of the month. I'm packing early because I have the time right now, so I'm going to be organized. I love how these come in a little pouch that's so good picked up the copper bikini top and bottoms i went for this style and i know it's not the most like trendy style to have just like a bandeau top however it's just the most practical for me it's the one i wear the most when i'm sitting in the garden so that my tan lines aren't like super crazy i don't like a really thick strap if i'm doing my gardening for example i'll normally if it's hot i have a bikini top on weeding is hard work okay and yeah i don't like to have like something with really thick straps because i'm gonna end up with the craziest tan lines i actually have like quite a crazy tan line on my back at the moment which is 
I was wearing sun cream, still got tan. But yeah, they're not the most like trendy at the moment, but I went for this style because it's just so, so practical for me. And then I also have the high-waisted bottoms as well, which I just think are so cute. So I'm gonna take these on my little staycations with me over the next couple of weeks. Thank you, Nadia, for sending those. And then also in PR, I have this from Space NK, which is an Amanda Harrington Jet Set Duo bronzing face set. So it's a face mist and kabuki face brush. This is so cute. I'm definitely gonna test that out. I normally test them out on back of my hands, then occasionally use them on my face, but I don't regularly use them on my face. I just find that it like causes so much congestion for me, sadly. So whilst we were briefly on the subject of staycation, I did pick up a couple of other bits as well. I recently cleared out my bikinis and I was in need of a like black triangle one. Triangle ones are along with bandeau ones, my absolute fave. So I went on to ASOS to pick up one of those and just ended up throwing some more bits into my basket. Some beauty bits as well, which I'm really excited about. I basically ordered a lot of uh, Charlotte Tilbury whilst I was there. Does anyone else do that where you go on to ASOS to put one thing in your basket and then end up with so much stuff? Bronzer is huge. I also picked up an Eyes to Mesmerize, which are my favorite cream eyeshadows in the shade Amber Gold. I've been really craving doing like a gold smoky eye lately and this looks so gorgeous. I was expecting it to be a lot more yellowy from the swatches, but I'm not mad about this. I'm really not mad about that, it looks so gorgeous. I think that's gonna be a new everyday eyeshadow shade for me. This is the Magic Vanish, so it's basically like a corrector for your under eyes. And it's like a creamy texture, it feels really nice. It's gonna be a little bit light, that is annoying. But it's fine because my under eye area is obviously very light so it's not the end of the world with that one but yeah i'm gonna use those tomorrow and try them out okay let's hope i have more luck with my actual clothing purchases item number one we have the triangle black triangle bikini this is actually very different to the ones that they used to do i would actually say the sizing is more off as well because i had these in a size eight before and they did not look this, this tiny that looks so small i'm hoping it doesn't look as small when it's actually on me and then i also have the matching bottoms which they've changed the way they do the bottoms i kind of preferred them when they were like just a really simple cut and now they have more of a v i'm hoping it'll be flattering but not sure and then also picked up this really cute little black linen dress oh i just love it so cute i just think this is going to be a really nice easy everyday item to throw on and it would look cute under blazers as well going into autumn this is a really good all year rounder and then i also got the same they basically did it in a longer version which i just loved so fingers crossed the length on this will be okay for me because i noticed in the pictures that it did not have adjustable shoulder straps and then i also saw this which i thought was so cute like a little strappy cami dress in the most beautiful like mustard yellow now that i'm seeing it in person i'm not sure i don't know if it's like the light in here is just not doing me any favors but sometimes this color looks really cute on me sometimes it doesn't and then finally i saw this little dress is by asos again i think and it's like a tiered kind of like smock style but it's shorter so almost like a baby doll kind of dress it's got a zip side and adjustable straps and i thought this would be such a cute easy throw on piece over july and august yeah basically just loving black dresses for this summer and there's something that i just haven't ever really had in my wardrobe i don't, I don't do black dresses for summer i'm generally like a white summer dress kind of girl on the subject of black clothing i picked up this hoodie from the asos men's section because trying to find a black zip up hoodie that is women's i couldn't i couldn't find one for love and money so i went on to the men's section of asos because i just knew they would have exactly what i wanted basically if ryan had one of these i would have stolen it but he actually doesn't have a black zip up hoodie but yeah i picked up this hoodie from the men's section i got it in a size medium so it's like nice and big so i'm really excited about this and i'm just gonna carry on living my best damien from mean girls life when I have this on and my sunglasses. That or A from Pretty Little Liars. So yeah, that is my all black summer ASOS haul. Final two. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know how to explain this purchase. Honestly, the far fetch boxes, they really like to make it difficult for you to get into them. How do I explain this? Right, so I have the matching swimming costume to the item that is in this bag and I just thought that they would work so cute together so there is no way of me justifying this purchase this is like a full-on i wanted this for a shoot kind of purchase i'm just gonna put it out there but also really handy for when you actually don't want a full like hat on your head and you want to lie back kind of vibes because i actually can't wear baseball caps because i look 
<laughs> I look like a boy. Yeah, there's no way of me justifying this purchase. I can't really explain it until you see the pictures, but there is a look I have in mind and I am ridiculous. Honestly, I'm going away on staycation and I am gonna be living my best life in my full Fendi monogram look. Trust me, if I could get my hands on like the slider, like Birkenstock things that they do, I would, I would have bought them already. Okay, this next order. I had nothing to do at the weekend. I was really bored. I actually went through two seasons, two, three seasons of Keeping Up With The Kardashians because I'd never actually watched the earlier seasons. I think I came into it maybe like season 10, I want to say. Like I was really late to the game. Lots of you will know because back in the day when like everyone was obsessed with The Kardashians, I wasn't really like talking about it. So picture this, I've gone through two, I think by this point I've gone through two seasons of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I was on season six, I think. I think I got to season six, maybe. No, I was on season seven by this point. I was on season seven, I'm now on season eight. Kim Ye is now a thing. And it just came into my head. I was like, oh, I wonder if Skims has restocked on Netaport or Selfridges at the moment. An hour later, I'm fully down the rabbit hole and I am pouring things into my Selfridges basket. But I'm actually not mad. I really needed new loungewear, honestly. After I'm done with the wardrobe room, my last clear out task is to do my underwear drawer. Is there anything worse? It's not looking cute in there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So it needs a real big sort out and I just know that there are certain things that I needed. I'd also just had a big loungewear clear out because my loungewear was like falling apart. So yeah, I don't know why I'm justifying this. I made a big Skims order basically. Oh, this is so, oh my God, it's so soft wait to not be clothed i can't wait to get my makeup off to be in this oh, this is gonna be so good this is the cutest tone of gray it's so rare that i hold gray up against me and it makes my skin actually look nice i love like a bright light gray cute it's like a flannelly texture then we have this which is part of a set oh my god it's so soft it's so soft so i'm not particularly nude skims i have tried out a lot of their like soft bras before that are like this i love them i love them like i wear them <laughs> i wear them like daily so i love those i love what else did i have i have the body but that like sucks you in and honestly it's like the best thing i own when it's like my time of the month and i'm super bloated and i don't want to be questioned on the internet as to whether i'm pregnant or not i just wear that and bloating what bloating i also have the mesh corset which i don't really wear very often unless i'm wearing something that is like super hourglassy and it kind of like helps the silhouette of the dress the body is actually generally more day-to-day -day helpful to me and i really love it and then i have like some bandeau bras from them so i've got a few bits but there were still some bits i'd never tried like this style of bra which i've got in a gray because like they also do bottoms to this like legging bottoms which i picked up and then I also picked up some bodies. This is all like wrapped up, random stuff is like grouped together and wrapped up in different bits of paper. So there's no order to what I'm pulling out here. But yeah, this is a little like cream, almost got like a hint of yellow to it, kind of body. Really cute, I thought it would look nice with blue jeans. Need to switch legs again because I'm losing the feeling in them. Oh, this one comes in a box, I love. It's so cute. So I picked up this body actually to go with the trousers that I am wearing right now. It's like a brown long sleeve body going into like the cooler days in the summer. This brown body with my little linen trousers. I thought that could be really cute. So I decided to try that. It's like a real kind of like stretchy material but I think it. So these are the little bottoms that go with the bra I just showed you. I think they're really cute. Just a really nice one for like lounging around the house and then i also have there was the crop that we saw at the beginning that's like the towel material is also leggings to go with it so we have the bottoms that go with the lucy top i couldn't resist it's like the iconic like skims stuff really isn't it so we have the cozy like dressing gown this is the full length <laughs> oh it's gonna be so cute and i think that is it yeah that is it. I'll try a few things from Skims On with you guys now. And then the other stuff I think I'm gonna leave for when I'm packing and I'm kind of gonna like try on bits 
as I pack. I wasn't sure if I was gonna talk about this, but backstory, I had to isolate. I got like the dreaded NHS like ping that you've been in close contact with someone who's tested positive for COVID. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to talk about this because by the time this video goes out, I will be a free woman again. But also it's enough stress on individuals like having to isolate, having to isolate alone, all of that kind of stuff. So though I didn't want any opinions on the situation because it's stressful enough as it is. I still need to give some context on why I've been so bored, why I have like two full giant ass boxes of shredded wheat on my countertop but yeah i didn't really want to go crazy with the chat about it because i just know that it's going to be so confusing because my videos don't go up like in real time i don't daily vlog and then just like upload straight away that kind of vibe so yeah by the time you see this i'll be a free woman i'm so excited so far so good i have a negative test result i have no symptoms at present so yeah kardashians has been my life recently <laughs> that's how we ended up here i really don't want to clean all of this up now Before I royally mess this up, I thought I would show you my little smoothie bowl if you want to know how I make it. I will link the morning routine that I mentioned earlier in the info box for you guys. I'm about to annihilate this right now and make it look disgusting. I'm not using a big bowl today. I actually kind of like it when I use a more shallow, wide bowl. I can get more toppings in basically. So I am going to throw some nuts in when I mix it up a little bit. And yes, I have already changed and I'm really, really enjoying this set. It's so cute. I feel like a teddy bear. Okay, so this is the little like loungewear cold. I love the colour of this. It's so cute. And I really like the flannel feel of it. At first I was like, oh, am I going to love that? But it was so soft to touch when I pulled it out of the box. I was like, yeah, I'm absolutely going to love wearing this. And I'm actually like quite shocked by the elastic like waistband. It really cinches you in. But at the same time, it's still really like expandable, like really stretchy. I wouldn't think twice about eating a meal in this. So yeah, love that. Love that it matches my favorite slippers. I will link them if you guys like these slippers. They're my absolute faves. I would highly recommend them. Yeah, very cute. I think I got both of these in a small. I will confirm all sizing in the info box below though. Oh my God, this is so cute. I cannot tell you how long I've been saying to Ryan like every evening, how much I've wanted like a set that I can wear in the evening that isn't like super like lingerie that is like uncomfortable or there's too much like lace but I've wanted something that's like really really comfy but isn't like ugly or in my case so heavily worn like all of my lovely stuff that I love wearing I have worn so much and it is really looking worn but this is so cute this is like exactly what i was looking for it's cute like really like flattering but comfortable at the same time i just want to be comfy but i also want to look cute at the same time and this is perfect i just love the gray tone of this as well like it is just super flattering like i said earlier i just really struggle with gray sometimes but this is just so cute I love it. I love this little bra too. It's not like part of the set, but it matches really well. So if the other bra is like in the wash or whatever, but these aren't in the wash, I can wear these two together as well. Oh my God, this is so cute. I'm not going to BS you guys. I'm absolutely roasting, <laughs> but it's so cute. The trousers are a little bit long for me. It's just always going to be the way really, isn't it? I find especially with US stuff, everything is just really long. Are people taller on average in the US? What is that all about? I love this and I don't think I could have this without the matching set underneath, quite frankly, which is, I am aware, absolutely ridiculous, but it's so cute. This is just so perfect. I've still got the labels in. This is so perfect for like the winter time, but definitely not summer appropriate. It is so, so cozy, so snuggly. I really like this and it is can we just talk about it's so stretchy i absolutely love that so when i'm like bloaty as hell i'm a little bit bloaty right now i've just literally had like my smoothie bowl but not too bad but i feel like i could eat like a pizza and still feel really like nice and very comfortable in this oh uh, yeah who am i kidding i'm keeping it and this is it without the dressing gown on if anyone wanted to have a little look oh yeah this is so cute i am gonna have to buy these bodies in every single color before this video goes live. It might prove a bit tricky because I think this was probably the only one that was actually available in my size, which I wasn't mad about because that's actually what I logged on to kind of have a look at. I love it with the linen trousers. It's actually like coming off a bit blue in here. So it's kind of throwing the color of my linen trousers off. But I'm really happy with how the body looks with the linen trousers. I love these trousers so much that I've kind of been thinking about how I can get the most wear out of them for like the longest throughout the year. And I think this is kind of it. I don't love wearing these trousers with a black top so much, but the brown is just a little bit softer. I just didn't feel like a white 
works particularly well for some reason but this body kind of brings it into autumn and i'll also be able to wear the body with so many other things in my wardrobe i just think it's going to be a great purchase and i really want it in black now just for the winter for like everyday wear i also would get a lot of wear out of it in nude because i wear my nude zara bodies so much so yeah i might have to purchase this in all the colors because it's really great the only thing i would say is the neckline is kind of tight and it's almost like a rough cut like a raw cut which I'm assuming is gonna be fine. Kind of gonna trust that it's gonna wash okay like that. But yeah, it was a little bit tight, so I would always put this on before I do my hair. Like if I'd done a low bun, it would have been really tricky to get on and not smudge my makeup. You kind of have to pick one or the other. But fortunately, my hair was down today. Also, I'm not trying on the other body, this one. It's really hard to show to camera because the camera auto corrects, but to the eye, this is basically like a white, green it's called it bone like the color is called bone so i know that it's not meant to be like a white white but i was i wasn't expecting it to be like a green tone so i just don't love that so i'm gonna send it back but yeah that's my little skims haul i'm starting to get a headache now so i'm gonna pause throw down some water and i'll be back with you in a little bit This is going to be so good. I've made like a tomato-y cheesy pasta sauce. It's just got a little bit of cheese, just a little bit, not too much. Did you hear the word cheese? <laughs> As if I'm feeding you my dinner. You've had your dinner. Got courgettes, peppers, broccoli, tomatoes, and then a couple of little bits of faux bacon. I hope you all enjoyed the bit of the montage where I made enough pasta, quite frankly, for one and a half people. And as I was scooping it into the bowl, just got to the point where I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna have the whole big giant wok of pasta. everybody except Nala Benaldi because I currently have one of her hairs in my eye and it is probably the most uncomfortable I've been in a very long time. It's also very hot today. I'm not naked by the way, I am wearing a dress. It's very hot so I have a dog hair in my eye which I can't get out, it just is, it's long and don't ask me how I've got her hair in my eye, it must have been on my face and then I've been using this brush and it's like picked it up and flicked it into my eye. So it's very hot, I have a dog hair in my eye that can't get out and I have a Zoom meeting in 15 minutes. So I'm not ruining this. So I'm just gonna have to sit in discomfort until my Zoom meeting ends. Also have the window cleaners coming for the first time today and it's gonna be at the exact time apparently that my Zoom meeting starts. So also great, loving life, loving life. I need to do my hair because it is not looking cute today. I'm gonna go get the uh, cordless straighteners so I don't have to move around. 
I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with my hair today. I'm going to just do a light. There we go. I'll just do a light wave. I'm going to speed this up because your girl is on a time crunch, people. <laughs> That took me five minutes. You can't see five minutes, people. <laughs> I have five minutes. It took me five minutes and I have just over 10 minutes. I need to get everything set up. So just a light wave, no like real curls or anything. These are gonna drop a little bit because I'm not gonna hairspray them, but it will just give a little bit of movement to my hair rather than it being like dead straight. So yeah, that is my look for this morning. I really like this bronzer actually. It's in the shade number one, which I wasn't expecting to like, but I kind of used it very heavily with this brush. Jamie sent this out with her new Vive bronzers, which I also really like. They're a really nice tone, but this one's so light that it actually, when used quite heavily, just gives like this really nice definition and it doesn't really look like a my own bronzer. And I love that. So yeah, actually really happy that I didn't go for shade two. This is the look. Now I need to do my Zoom meeting. My eye is better. The hair has made its way out. Very happy. That little pre-Zoom meeting check. Gotta make sure it doesn't look like I'm naked on camera. So my Zoom call is done and I'm about to make something to eat. And I need to ask you guys something. And this might be really dramatic. So I have a greenhouse in my garden, as a lot of you will know. And I really liked it. I don't get too much use out of it. In the winter especially, I am not going outside when it's cold to tend to anything in there. So it's barren for the winter and... To be honest, this summer, it's not been my vibe. I love my veg patch. I don't like going in the greenhouse. There are big spiders. I was never fully on the greenhouse train, really. I just couldn't be bothered to strip it down. So we just spray painted it instead and made it look really cute. It still does look really cute, but it has like these auto open and shut. Oh, that's nice lighting. It has auto open and shut like windows at the top to stop it getting too hot in there. You can't turn it off. You can't deal with it. Bees keep getting stuck in there. And I open the door and try and like get them out. I try and like literally manually get them out, but they don't like that and they want to sting me. And there are so many dead bees in there. And obviously they're very good for the world. I'm literally a phone call away from bulldozing it because I want to start my garage project in some capacity anyway, even if it's just like sorting out the bare bones of it. And in order to do that, the greenhouse would need to eventually go either way. Do I get rid of the greenhouse? So this is how it's looking at the moment. Ignore my broccoli plant. I'm waiting for all of the flowers to go so that I can pull it out without being attacked by bees. As you can see, the window is open. The door is open at the moment because I was hoping the bee would like let itself out. But yeah, there's spider's webs in there. They get caught or they like get stuck in between the glass and I can't take the panels off myself. I have no idea how the guys that spray painted it did it. It's so difficult because this morning I was trying to take a glass panel out to free a bee, which I guarantee would have stung me if it had actually come out at that point because it was like trying to sting the glass. So yeah, do I pull it down now? I know some people might think that's really dramatic because they might be like it's just a bee, but I feel like they're quite important. So I don't know if this is me just because I'm stuck in my house and I'm really bored. And I'm like, yeah, that needs to happen. I should make that phone call. Like, do I make that phone call? I might make that decision before this vlog even goes live. I want my summer house. My garage is falling apart anyway. It needs the maintenance. Do I just start this project? Let me know. Also, you guys, don't whatever you do swap mosquitoes with your eyeshadow palettes because this is what happens. Been, so I can now vlog again. So great. I also have the shiniest, cleanest windows. It's so great. I rang my mum just to tell her that I finally have window cleaners because honestly, you can see the pain every time she comes to my house because it's by the sea as well. So you do have to have your windows cleaned a little bit more regularly. It just gets really like this like dusty, everything gets a dusty film in it, honestly. My poor car, because I haven't been able to take it out and get it cleaned. <laughs> Thankfully, the new one is white, but yeah, it's gonna desperately need doing by the time I am finally free. So, little update. I have just tried on, well, 
it wasn't just i've been not vlogging for quite a while now but i tried on one of the asos dresses that i showed you guys yesterday the one that's like a little baby doll smock dress annoyingly it has because of the tears of the kind of like smocking it gets to the last one and the zip does that thing where it just won't do up and honestly i was trying for so long and i can't tell if it's just going to be this one or it's just a design fault with all of them why why can't they just put a little bit of like elastication on the back and just not deal with zips on dresses like this because this is so common with a dress that has like tiered bits to it and i literally like i'm generally very good at like teasing zips and being very patient with them it just wasn't it's not working out so i've ordered another one to see if it's a design fault i will keep you updated and i've also ordered a couple of other similar ones because i really liked the style of dress and i became quite attached to the idea of it so yeah just a little update for you but i'm gonna wait to do my packing until those arrive which will be tomorrow this vlog is getting quite long now so i think i'm gonna do packing for stay k in the next vlog my hair is just wild so this is what happens when i get ready so quickly and i curl my hair in the viewfinder so i've started gathering bits but i will go through them with you in the next video but yeah i've done all my emails i've done everything it's amazing what happens when you're not allowed to leave the house so i think i'm finally gonna paint my nails very exciting i know i think i'm just gonna go for a simple mani just to test out the new brushes and then if it works out well i'll try something a little bit fancier i really want to try and do some like wavy lines like i've been seeing on instagram i'll try and put a picture here of like what i'm talking about and if it goes well then maybe i'll buy myself some new polishes who knows i'll show you what i'm using at the moment but i literally just use these rimmel polish what is going on with my voice there's a little bird like sitting in my garden chair look at it oh it was like chilling anyway i digress i've been using some rim polishes which i've had for quite a while now and i really like them they actually last better than the i think they're called the blue bell gel polishes that i have with like my uv lamp they last so much better my gel polishes were lasting like a day and the rimmel polishes last like a good week so i'm just sticking with those so yeah i'm gonna crack on with that now give myself a cute little mani okay we've gone for a little change in outfit because i was absolutely roasting some days in the uk it's like fairly you know just muggy cool but not like cold that kind of vibe and then every so often i feel like someone turns the heating up a little bit i kind of thought this was going to happen today like i woke up this morning and my thermostat in the morning was saying 21 degrees and i was like okay so we are at that peak point in the day and my kitchen especially is just very very warm at the moment so i've gone for my little zara cold it has like a little tie back which i really like this is such a great one for if i've got a face full of makeup and i want to change this is so easy i don't have to worry about like getting over my head it feels really lovely as well it's got a really nice little texture to it which i don't think you can kind of just see the edge of it like when i pull it out it's like bobbly almost like a waffle but not just a really easy one that you can either wear around the house or you could throw a blazer on over the top of but i like to just wear it really casually and i've got my chanel sliders on and i'm accompanied by all of these stuffed animals thank you miss nala okay so i've got my little box of stuff here this is a mix of the stuff that i would use for gels for example i've got like the acetone that i would use for gels but i've also got my nail polish removers like my regular nail polish removers i've got body oil which i like to use on my hands after i'm done and after everything's dry cotton pads and then i've got my polishes so this is the top coat i use i will try and link everything in the info box so this is the super gel top coat i don't think there's another name for it and then i like to use you can see how well loved this is it's disgusting this is one of the polishes that i use it's super gel in the shade english rose and then i also have the super gel in basic b which is like a white which is lovely alone but also really lovely kind of for nail design but also french tips and then i also have a lot of bits like this i actually need to go and get my other cutex bits i have a treatment i'm just gonna go get them hang on okay so these are my two favorites so we have the hydrating cuticle oil which i use like on an everyday basis but then we have intense recovery treatment which i like to use after i take my nail polish off after you use nail polish remover it always your nails always tend to get really dry this after makes them so soft and so hydrated and i really really like that this is the blue sky that's the one this is the one that doesn't last particularly well perfect color but doesn't really last for me then i have some of the brushes that i showed you yesterday here but i've already picked out my brushes that i think are going to be the best for me and then i have my little stickers and then i have my little kit as well so i don't really know what i'm doing so this isn't a tutorial maybe i'll film a reel if you guys actually like only if you genuinely want it because 
I'm not very good at this. I used to love doing this when I was a kid, so if I have the time, I really enjoy doing it. So, let's give this a go. I think I might try freehand to start, and then if I struggle, I'll use the stickers. great close up so I'm not bringing you in and my right hand is even worse because obviously I have to use my left hand I decided to do freehand because I wanted the tip to be really fine and I wasn't sure I was going to get that with the stickers but the next time I do my nails I'm going to try it with the stickers and see if it works out any better the thing I found that helps the most is like just commit and use a really light hand and then don't go back over it just don't go back over it don't try and like make it better because otherwise it kind of goes a bit clumpy but also don't give up until you put the top coat on because the top coat makes it look a hundred times better than it originally did i'm just really committing to this life now i need to practice more because i just cannot be bothered with the gel life anymore so i need to get good at this again because 13 year old me she should have gone to beauty college why i didn't it was the stupidest thing i haven't got many mistakes in my life but i feel like that was one thing that i really should have like pursued because i used to be really good at everything beauty related but yeah hopefully i get better over time i think i'm going to try again this week i might even do a blue tip i've got this cool like dusky blue essie polish which i really want to try out anyway i'm just going to wait for them to dry and then i'm going to use some body oil and stuff but i'm done i'm done <laughs> today's video just because things are getting very long i'm about to go make myself some dinner it's probably going to be the same thing i've had for like the last three days a tesco shop is finally coming tonight i'm so excited but yeah i will be back with you very very soon we will be packing for staycation i hope you're all having a lovely day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye